Manansky had uh, details on, and it was a father who was very concerned about his son, who, like any father, would be concerned his son is suffering from uh, from brain cancer. But there has been some sort of a, uh, a legal matter, an altercation that occurred between the son, who I believe is in his 30s, uh, his name is Kevin, and uh, an elderly person. Um, it has now gone to court. The father's concern is that his son should not be in the courtroom based on the fact that the last time he was there, he had a, uh, a seizure. Now, we spoke with the DA's office um, about uh, 45 minutes ago. Scott McNamara gave a, a very frank, I, I was really surprised, he just laid the whole case out there. Um, and what the charges are against Kevin Magmanti uh, of uh, Rome. And Kevin just so happens to be on the line here right now. Good morning, Kevin. Hello, Bill. How are you doing? Good. I'm sorry for what you're going through, uh, certainly brain cancer, and uh, we certainly feel for you. And then the complications here. You called in. What What do you want to say? Well, Bill, um, you know, I'm a really nice guy, and that guy, the DA just trashed me like I did something wrong. Um, you know, I have a lot of friends, people like me. I, I don't have any enemies. I have one enemy in the entire world. That is a huge issue for me. Um, DA was saying all this stuff that never even happened. Yeah. The stuff in Lee never happened. Um, it was totally opposite of the story. Um, whatever happened, what happened here at um, Planet Fitness, nobody even looked at it. Our, um, our, I'm sorry, I can't think of words a lot of times now. That's but okay. All right. We, we handed yeah. in the form where you can complain. Complaint Got form, maybe okay. that's what it's called. So you filed a complaint as well? Absolutely, okay. Bill. All right, and, so here's um, here, here's what yeah. I want to say to this, and and I do understand that uh, you know the DA really laid it out, and and the allegations the, the allegations um, do not make you look uh, look good, I, and I understand that. So what I would like to do, if possible, because we can spend all day long getting your story, and then uh, you know the the elderly man's story, and then uh, the DA comes in and, and, and no one's going to know really what to believe. Uh, it, it's not that we can serve as a jury here, but what I would like to do is I have on the line, Mark uh, Luthauser and Mark is with peacemakers. And wouldn't it be amazing if, uh, the peacemaker program, which does incredible things, uh, here in the area could work with you. I know you, you can't afford an attorney at this point, but to be able to utilize the peacemaker program to assist you in making this thing work and ultimately go away. Mark, uh, good morning. I know you've been waiting for quite a while, Mark, but thanks for coming on. Uh, it's my pleasure. Good morning, everybody. So, Mark, we're on with Kevin, and um, is there a possibility that you and Peacemakers could work with Kevin? Um, obviously, his dad feels that, that, that if he goes back into court, there's a chance that he could catch something, which could be terminal. Uh, he's, he's fearful that he'd have another seizure. On the other hand, the DA's office is saying, these are the charges. we got to do what we got to do. Um, is there a peacemaker program that could find itself somewhere in the middle? I, absolutely. I think it's a perfect example of a place where the law is extraordinarily limited. The, the DA has a very specific role that he has to play. Yeah. And the courts have to do what they have to do. That said, the best way to avoid that conundrum is to not involve yourself with the courts in the first place if you don't have to. Right. People have the capacity to solve their own problems, given tools and the opportunity to do so that's our job so yeah. if we can find a resolution between the sides that they both are happy with then yeah. you don't have to involve the court so i know it's gone a ways um and you know there are appearances uh, but kevin this might be an option because I, I i gotta tell you one of the things that uh, you seem to be doing a lot of the stuff on your own and you're having communications with the da's office that's always a difficult thing if you can have someone who is a mediator or an attorney uh, do the talking for you. It takes the emotion out of it, and I, I think there's a real benefit. Kevin, would you consider speaking with Mark later today uh, about your situation and getting some help from peacemakers? Well, Bill, let me tell you one thing, okay? I'm okay. a grateful deadhead, and I have a marijuana prescription. I am the most cool, mellow dude that you've ever met. Okay. I don't need, I don't need an alternative peacemaker. Okay. I need, I need the, the city of Rome to be loyal to me and do the right thing, um, I don't need a peacemaker, unfortunately, sir. Okay. Uh, then you're probably going to end up having to go to court, though. Are you okay that's, with that? Then that's what, if that's what has to happen, um, Bill. That's what has to happen. Okay. I mean, it's it's, it's a, a ticket. It's a violation, and they think I don't want I don't have to deal with that. So I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry, but I, I'm I'm my own peacemaker. That's what that's what. So right. I think that's what's and, and I think 
So it, it's obvious that both of you have a stake in this, and I don't want anyone to take the ability to make decisions away from either of you. Functionally, that's what walking into a courtroom does. And that's an important job, and I'm glad the courts do it for some cases. But it sounds like you've got a strong motivation, Kevin, to make sure that this turns out the way that you want it to, that you've got a set of values, that you believe in peacemaking. So I want you to be able to make decisions. I want you to decide how this case comes out. And I want the other guy to be able to decide. I don't want some third party to be right, able to make right. a decision that possibly neither of you likes. Nobody ends up better off in that case. I have been uh, I've been through the peacemaker program, Kevin, um, uh, for issues that I would have thought never would have been resolved, and the way they handle it, they serve uh, they don't serve as your attorney, but it's somebody that's an advocate um, for both sides. I highly recommend um, you reconsidering and, and at least talking with with Mark today. Yeah, I will, Bill, because okay. I really appreciate your opinion too. I really like your opinion. All right. I've been I, I, I've had to do for a long time, so I probably will give him a call and see what's going on. And I understand it's it's tense. There's a lot going on, and uh, and a lot going on in your life. But um, you know, if you could just remove this problem from your life, and if a third party could help, um, it's only a benefit to that. So I'm Absolutely. gonna I'm gonna put you on hold, Kevin and uh, Mark. We're gonna get his number so that you guys can communicate. And uh, Mark, I want to get you back next week because your program. Uh, that you guys do peacemakers is something we should be talking a little more in depth about. And I want to do that for you next week. All Absolutely. Right? And right. I should probably mention we've actually next week is our big annual fundraiser too. Well, so there we go. Oh, we there talk we, about that as well. well. There we go. All right, Mark, stand by Kevin as well. Thanks Thank you. and good but, luck. Uh, and uh, Caitlin's going to talk to you in a second, Kevin. Okay. Thank you very much. Right. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Good luck. And we wish you the best with, uh, you know, um, today it's amazing things can be done in the, in the world of cancer and, and, and our thoughts and prayers are with you. Okay. Thank you. I All hope right. so, sir. All Thank right. you. Sit tight.